Hang Out Show. I'm here with John Caffiero. That's right. Now, John, how did you get involved with the Ramones? Well, I got involved with the Ramones when I first heard the Road to Ruin album when I was about 10 or 11 years old and immediately just felt like this is the music for me. It stuck. Uh, it really became a big part of my life and a part of my personality. And I guess my first close encounter with the Ramones was when I was 16. Um, I was driving through, uh, I had just gotten my driver's permit, I was driving through the city, somebody was holding up a sign that said Ramones, the Animal Boy album had just come out, I got out of the car, I freaked out, I said, what's going on with the Ramones? They said, you look like one of them, they're shooting a video over at the library, you should get over there, they'll probably use you. I did, and I met the whole band, and fortunately now, um, as an adult, I have the privilege and the honor of managing Johnny Ramones' estate and Dee Dee Ramones' estate, as well as uh, John his ownership in all of the Ramones companies. What is important about these events to you? The chance for the fans to get to celebrate the Ramones and the legacy of Johnny, Dee Dee, Joey, you know, all of the Ramones really, because it's unfortunate throughout their lifetime these guys were grossly underappreciated by the masses. There were always the die-hard hardcore fans that really knew that they were something special and got it and dug it, but I could tell you as a kid, you know, being a Ramones fan, I was a complete outcast for it, and how many many arguments I had with people over that this was like the type of music and when the Ramones were finally inducted into the Hall of Fame I felt completely vindicated like the world caught on and so I think one of the most important things is that they're getting what they deserve their whole life and uh, you know better late than never. Johnny, what did you love about his personality? Johnny was like the strict dad that you really, really wanted to accept you and to be proud of you and you had to work hard for it and, you know, rightfully so. You know, Johnny was really the guy that was responsible for the Ramones. I mean, they all played their part and they're all equally important, but I truly believe that had it not been for Johnny Ramone and his uh, undying persistence to keep moving forward, it would have never been able to survive and become what it eventually became. Do you still get up every morning or some mornings, look in the mirror and pinch yourself like, hey, I'm going to go work for the Ramones today. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I've got to admit that it is truly an honor for me. And as corny and cliche as it sounds, I really do think it was my destiny. And a lot of other people have told me that that one thing always leads you to another in life. And I fought for the Ramones my whole life. I always held them in high regard. And now I get to take that passion and apply it for real and make sure that they do get the treatment that they deserve. So it is a huge honor. And absolutely, it's very surreal for me thinking back to when I was 16 years old and meeting them for the first time and being a geeked up fan. And now I have the ability to protect them and protect their legacy. And that's what I'm doing. The Blaring Out Show.